Hello everyone, this is Nehal Soni from College Dunia. Today we are here with another episode on Thoughts of Education. Uh, today we have with us the dignitary from SMI University, Bangalore, which is Stock Market University. And we have with us Mr. Kishore, who is co-founder and chief data officer of uh, SMI. His experience is 16 plus years, qualification is PGDBM. Uh, his expertise area would be business development, digital marketing, blogging, trainer in stock markets. He has been instrumental in spreading financial awareness among student and working professionals through awareness session and workshop covering almost 1 lakh individuals. Hello sir, it's great having to you. How are you sir? Pleasure is mine here. All good. How about you? I'm really good sir. Keeping safe. <laughs> yeah, that's the main thing. These days being alive and being safe are the most important things. Correct sir. Right. So, we'll be starting with the question, sir. Um, yes. The first question is, sir, you've held this position, like it's a kind of education institute throughout your professional career, right? So, what are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector, like education side of stock market? Like, What keeps you connected? One is, uh, I have been in industry. I was in working firm, India Boots. I saw a lot of customers trading by putting money by taking in loans and other things which was not a right thing and uh, one of the cases where one of the lady gave me a call and said that her husband has not paid the school fees for the kids but he's putting the same money in stock markets and losing everything and then is the time I thought we should educate people and make them understand what exactly is stock market it's not the place where you just put in money however you want and money grows tomorrow no it's a gradual process so I thought we should educate people so I met my partner during my days in India Boost so he was my business associate so we both had similar thoughts. So that's how we started with this in 2009. Okay. That's great, sir. Like with your personal experience, you actually thought of doing something that. Like yes. So yeah. Uh, second question would be, sir, uh, being the co-founder and CEO at SMI, what is your philosophy of leadership and how would you describe your leadership style? Uh, yes, uh, I'm not that uh, people oriented man i'm more uh, process oriented i'm more into technology and other things okay. so when it comes to people my co-founder is the one who takes care of hr and uh, relationship with the employees and other people i'm more driven towards technology i'm more driven towards processes systems and other things yes during the process i have learned all those things as well okay thank you yeah. so much for the answer uh, being the co-founder and CEO of SMI, how do you strategize about key programs, plans for the marketing and administration of the school? Uh, yes, see, one is a requirement from the industry. For example, uh, uh, SBI Mutual Fund has around 50,000 plus openings, but they are not able to find people with required skills. It may be basic NCL, NISM certificate. But there is nobody who knows that there is opening like this and there is an NISM certification that is required. So yes, it gives us the opportunity to launch a course which is on NISM training, post which they will get employed with this kind of companies. So we keep seeing a lot of such requirements in the market. At the same time, yes, it's very important for us to communicate with people outside. So marketing campaigns and other things, I personally handle it. I have people who are team of creatives. So we sit together, we jot down things, we think from angle of what the student thinks based upon which we create our creatives and we promote. Yes, there are a lot of budget that we put in for digital marketing and other things on a regular basis. So you see an opportunity, you go for it, that is how it works, right? Like you saw yes. the opportunity for the particular course and you launch the course. In the yes, yes. Um, the next question is, so the education system in India and other foreign countries are structured very differently. In your experience, what can an inbound student gain from your university as compared to studying out of India? See, one is a lot of universities which are conventional universities in India are still running course which were like 20 years back. Curriculums have been revised but still it is not up to the mark. And yes, today the education system needs to be robust. There are a lot of things that are developed which were not there in the last five years have become a new thing today. Thank so, you. education as such has to get reinvented. Only then, whoever is studying today will become employable tomorrow. Thank if I teach the same old thing I was teaching 20 years back, I would not expect that student to do wonders by going out of my education system and in the job market. So, it's very important for us to re keep reinventing it 
and yes industry as well as the industry uh, education as well as industry both have to integrate only then things will happen right so actually you also answered the next question which was how does the curriculum at smi you know stand for the best practice for industry so actually you answered the same would you like to add anything in this or we can move to the next question yes uh see one is yes we have been in connect with industry but i would definitely recommend industry to always be in touch with us and say what is that they want for example when i told you that there is 50000 openings at sbi for mutual funds through one of the sources i got to know but if they have requirement and they're struggling for it they can always get in touch for example uh, if there is a company which says i need 20000 people for this 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 positions and these are the required skill set we will go to education institution we will sign a mou with them we will train those students and they can absorb them correct there is something that i look forward to do going forward true sir true uh sir any insights on how your school or university welcome the student of different economic races and economic backgrounds okay see what we do is uh, we have always been giving a chance to people who are underprivileged for example for every 10 people who join we try to give at least one person a scholarship kind of thing wherein he or she comes from a government college or they come from a socially backward community who is not able to afford fees at that point of time we give them required thing at the same time people who are senior citizens who come forward to learn through our institute we always give them discount of 10% upfront okay so anybody who is senior citizen they don't have to worry about the fee we always give them upfront 10% discount we are more happy because at that age they want to come and learn so that that is what motivates us so we always give that also in your university there is no uh, such thing as age barrier anyone can uh, learn this i would not call ourselves as a university we are an institute so we train people from 17 year old to 74 year old that's been the oldest student that we had so that can be a major usp for smi right yes uh yeah thanks for that answer that's great that you're doing out of every 10 once you're just getting chance for a concession fees uh what do you think your roles and responsibilities are towards the students or people coming under you to learn major roles and responsibilities as see, is one is yeah see one is uh, the day you join our program till the day you go out one thing we can assure you that you would not make the kind of losses that you were making earlier earlier definitely you would do things based upon your own gut feeling or your own thoughts or people giving you advice but once you join our program we would train you on the subject with the experts the real time training so that you get to know what all mistakes people can do and you will not do the same mistakes going forward yeah. so at the end of the program when you go out you say that yes i know how i should not be doing mistakes and lose money i can do right things from now on so that i can start making money so i would never say that okay you will make 10% 20% or 50% because market is not my cup this one i can't control the market so definitely you will at least not make losses is what we always say okay that's that's a great authority to spend that's great actually uh what do you think uh, your institute's top priority would be for the next few years institute's top priority over the 10 period of 10 years like coming to any society for the yes institute. see we want to be the go to body for education to enter into bfsa sector so we have a lot of ambitious plans wherein we would like to become a body which who, who gives training and certification for this particular thing so autonomous body is what we want to become going forward oh. autonomy body is the Autonomous body, yeah. Because that, uh, as I have taken many interviews, uh, the maximum uh, priority what they are telling is to become an autonomy body because that gives a lot of freedom to them uh, to create their own syllabus, practical and industry. That's really yes. Um, when you first started this institute, uh, what there might there must be a vision when you started the institute, right? And has this vision got implemented successfully or it has been changed over the past time frame no vision has been to make people informed investor and give them proper education yes the same is what we have been doing there is no change in the education vision as such yes 
we have been uh, making things better we initially thought that we would only be a finishing school then we also got opportunity to launch mba programs in capital markets oh then we have specialized programs which we run exclusively on capital market which become which makes people more employable which makes people experts so we have a program called uh, ecap that is expert in capital market applied practices wherein we train 250 hours rigorous training on specialized programs for example you want to become specialist in technical analysis you will get grilled for 250 hours and you become expert in technical analysis you say i want to become expert in derivatives we have experts who will grill you on that particular subject and they make you expert so this is a flagship program that we intend to give across and here our certification partner is bsc institute and we are their only partners in whole india today that's that's great sir actually uh what would you like the people to know about smi that you think they might not know yes we are one of the oldest ones in the industry we were the ones who created market for it and lot of other institutes start using our name for example today i was just seeing one of the education institution having their ad and on top of their name they have written stock market institute that's our name that's a registered trademark but still people are using it some people add something prior to our name or some people add something in between the name there is one more institute who uses stock market training institute right all those are names which has been taken by our institute they just copy paste and use something and yes they want to create just by copying name you can't become who we are we are doing our best and adding values to people's life just yesterday one of the student we had a youtube live wherein he commented back saying that sir i could pay my college fee just by doing a course with you that makes us feel good because yes there are a lot of people who come from different backgrounds and if somebody's life has changed just because of us we are more than happy to do so so you the chairman was trying to pay his own fees right and yes that's actually very inspiring for me as well. so yeah i because i totally understand what kind of pressure is undergoes when he is taking education because i myself when i took a loan for education right so i understand the pressure of paying it back so if a student is able to pay his own fees that's great like i mean then smi is already successful in his uh, vision right that's great uh like or we you have already told me the strength of your college but is there any particular strength that you feel proud of of smi uh, okay i'll tell you uh we had something called as a stock market am- student ambassador ssa stock market institute student ambassador wherein we took students aspiring students across different colleges we take them we hand pick them based upon their interests there are a lot of things that we do as preliminary so that we can screen the best student and we train them by taking to the actual jewelry making factories we took them to rbi in bangalore so we made them meet the best of the industry and they in turn went to tier 2 cities and tier 3 cities and train people who are like wage earners laborers and farmers in these particular cities where they thought only keeping money you with yourself or just by keeping money in the nearest bank savings bank account or maximum is recurring deposit your money is safe and it will double or triple so we trained them and we started making them put money in mutual funds and other things same time government also started putting ads mutual funds are here so that started uh, recollecting in their mind and they started investing in mutual funds so that's something that we changed and we are happy about it great achievement i would say so yeah um what are the biggest challenge you see for higher education in this particular field in general and for smi in coming years as i told you we were the ones who created the market first there were no education institutions as such who were into this particular space of stock market training so when we used to go to colleges or universities the watchman would not allow us to get inside he would say sir they will not allow all this kind of things to be taught to the students because it's a gambling and other things so we literally had to request the colleges to give us session we would train them for free once we train them you see how is that they are good at and a lot of colleges saw that it was becoming a lot more important and student got placed even though they were not academically so good but just by getting into our programs and other things they could crack the best of the industry 
jobs and that's how we started getting entry into the colleges right um uh, yeah so uh, before ending okay, going to the next question i would like to ask a personal question to you uh, can you elaborately tell the name of courses that you provide in your institute to the student? okay okay uh, the basic course that we have is a one day workshop which is like 8 hour program wherein we teach them basics of stock market basics of fundamental analysis basics of technical analysis as well as live trading okay then the phase 2 part of it is uh, we have something called as miss finance which is basically for housewives who don't know abc of what finance is but they are the ones who take care of household finances so we teach them how they can save money and invest in sip instead of putting it in uh, regular uh, recurring deposit or bank account what is mutual fund what is insurance how much insurance needs to be taken by a family if your income or expenses is so and so so we train them on those things so that again is a one day workshop and yes it's been welcomed by a lot of women organization across india and we would like to do that on a larger scale we are just waiting for one of other media houses to be part of it so that we can make it as a movement okay apart from this we have something called as pro cap that is proficiency in capital market applied practices which is around the 70 hour program wherein we'll teach them all about equities starting from scratch so irrespective of the background that you are from you can still be able to understand so you may be engineer you may be arts or any other graduate you can still be understanding things so we teach all about equities derivatives commodities mutual funds insurance portfolio management everything so anything in world of finance at least around 5 feet deep is what they understand by doing this particular program after this we have something called as ats that is advanced trading strategies wherein we will teach them different strategies with which they can execute their trades in a very different way then we have something called as master trader program which is more in depth with regard to technical analysis so technical analysis is a subject which is like making you a better person by looking at charts you can understand when is the right time and right price for you to buy and other things so there are various things that we teach them and it's around 80 hours plus kind of content that our expert who trains then we have something called as master investor program so we will teach how individuals can become a better investor so we have different programs for different set of people one who wants to become a trader there is a different program one who wants to become an investor there is a different program one who wants to build a career we have something called as ecap that is expert in capital market applied practices which i told you is a 250 hour program okay that's that thank you for the insight sir uh, yeah so here comes the last question of the interview uh, any suggestion mm-hmm. that you like to give to the aspiring students and their current youth okay one is you don't have a rewind button in life so whatever time you are spending right now use it in the right way so that you become a better person everybody becomes a graduate or a post graduate how different are you from the crowd is very important so you need to ask yourself this particular question and if you don't have answer for it we have the answer for it so you can always do something along with your graduation it can be simple as of the thing like going to a tally class going to foreign language classes going to digital marketing courses or doing something like stock market courses will make you a better person then you just becoming a graduate and having a degree right this is i guess the it's a very uh, common uh, suggestion that is coming from dignitaries like you because i have taken many interviews of say person in different uh, institution and people like you are more experienced in the field like 16 20 years this is a suggestion coming from all the people of uh, upskilling all the time and adding uh, you know other uh, different feathers in their cap before getting graduate because that is a moment they struggle with job and all that so that is a moment they realize that we could have done such, so much of more things while we had the time to do it so that's actually a really great suggestion sir uh, thank you right. for uh, investing this much time uh, with me on this interview and i hope all the best for smi and students coming to institute and to you as well sir.